Hello everybody, this is a type writer from uh, Web Optima Bureau Machine and Work of Erfurt model Bambino from 1950s. It comes in this case with handle. In this video I will show the inside, a little of history and uh, how it works. There is a strap to keep uh, the typewriter blocked inside the case and uh, some uh, simple blocks uh, in the bottom of the case. And here the typewriter. You see it doesn't have uh, the keyboard. The model name in Italian means child and according uh, to the name uh, it could be a toy typewriter. In fact, uh, many colors were available. This one is green. It's very similar to the Folio typewriter from uh, 1920 years. Or this uh, Ganka typewriter, still from uh, 1920s. In the Folio there is a ribbon. In this typewriter uh, there is an ink roller. Also, the folio is mainly in metal. This typewriter is in plastic. It's very light and it seems very cheap. Let's see the inside. There are only a few pieces. It's very simple. It's incredible it can work with only these pieces. Optima actually is a very old German producer. Since the 19th century, it was a supplier for the German army. During the First World War, it employed 13,000 people. But after the war, it had to stop the production of rifles and decided to merge with AEG in the production of typewriters and office furniture. In the middle of uh, 30 years, uh, they changed uh, the name uh, in Olympia and their group uh, with AEG was the bigger typewriter producer in Germany. You see, AEG and Olympia is uh, quite uh, the same typewriter. Also in Second World War, uh, they produced part of weapons uh, and after the war, of course, they had to stop production and again started to build typewriter under the name of uh, Web Optima Bureau Machine Work in Erfurt in DDR. Here. It's around 1950 that they built this typewriter model Bambino. It's very simple to use. With this pointer you select the letter. When you select the letter, the typing ball wraps against the ink roller. By default you print minuscule. With the red button you print the red letter, in this case the 3. With the green button you print the green letter, the majuscule E. You can use the black button as spacer or to move the carriage. It's also where it is to change the layout, you see. You can use a layout of different languages, special symbols, etc. Here in the back uh, there is a margin, you see, an intelligent and simple solution, same of the Folio 7 we saw before. That's all for this uh, simple typewriter. If you want to see one of the ancestors of this typewriter, you can see this video with the folio of 1924. Thanks for watching, have a nice day.